Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we are going to go over classes. Classes are fundamental to the Dart language. And the reason it is, is because classes are the very basis of object-oriented programming. Now you remember object-oriented programming, Hope. Basically, it says that everything in Dart is an object. So every variable, every literal, every function, they are all objects. But where do the objects come from? They come from classes. Classes can be thought of as like um, <clears throat> like a blueprint, a template. Um, I like to call it, think of it like a recipe. And when you make an object, you're basically call, turning the class, the recipe, into an actual thing, which is an object. Okay? This will get a little bit more clear as time goes by. It's a huge topic just to talk about the fundamentals. So let's just jump right into it, okay? So to create a class, let's just make a cake, okay? Because I've used that in the past. Done. Okay, so that's my class. It's outside of the scope of main or any other function. It's by itself. Therefore, it is called encapsulated. It is separate. And that's the importance of making classes to make the code easier to read and organize. Okay? So when you think about a recipe, let's just carry the analogy through. If, if you think about a recipe, a recipe for a cake includes ingredients and instructions, right? So the same is here. So let's just say string eggs equal chi chicken eggs um, water equals clean water, okay? And then I'm going to say cup of water equals three. Okay? These are my ingredients. All we need is eggs and water, okay? Well, we should probably add a few things later, but, but just for, for understanding, let's just keep it simple, okay? Then there are instructions on what you do with the ingredients. So we'll say mix, return eggs plus water. Um, we could weigh it, weigh the cake, right? That would be like um, int weight equals cup of water times two. So I'm just making this up. So I'm just pretending like because this is equal part eggs, equal part water. So if, if I know the cup of water, I can weigh the cake just because I'm multiplying it by two. I'm not including the flour. And okay, it's, I didn't say it was a good cake. I'm just saying it's a cake. All right. So um, cup of water. And so, so I'm just completely making this up. It doesn't make much sense for the weight or the cake. Hang in there. Bear with me. Okay. And then there is the bake. Um, you baked a cake. Okay, so if you look at this, we have the ingredients or the data itself. These are called instance variables. Okay, all classes, hopefully they're not empty or you just wasted your time, they have members. Members include instance variables and they include methods. Now when you think about this, look at this. If these are functions, right? That's exactly what a function is. Remember when I said a function and a method is the same thing? Well, are the same thing. Well, they're not exactly the same thing. Methods are simply functions within a class. Functions are functions outside of a class. Okay, just keep that in mind. So again, if you said function in a class, everybody's gonna know what you're talking about. If you talked about a method as a function, you could use them interchangeably. I don't think anybody's gonna be too upset with you, okay? But just that's the actual difference itself. It's kind of like water and ice. Yes, ice is water, but yeah, yeah, people will understand, okay? Um, <clears throat> so with the functions, we can return things, just like functions. We can set new variables, and we can do things as well, okay? So how do you turn this idea, this class, into a, an actual object itself, okay? 
um, I'm going to say my cake equals new cake. And you call call the class new cake. And this actually creates, this is the idea or the recipe. Now you actually turn it into a thing, my cake. Okay? So it's not just, it, it, is, it is the actual, if you think of it, an actual object that we can start manipulating. Okay? What's the type? Because we don't want to use var, right? What's the type? The type is cake. Okay? So the type is the class, and you call it with the class name. It seems a little weird, but it actually does make sense. Unfortunately, it's not going to make sense for a while, but hang in there. Okay? I hope you remember the syntax. I hope it looks familiar to you. If not, I'll remind you. Set my set equals new set. Do you remember that? So what that says is that there is a class named set already built into the Dart language. I'm creating a variable and calling a new class set and creating an object out of that. So that's what that was. So if you remember, I think I said something like, don't worry if it doesn't make much sense. You just have to memorize it. <clears throat> that's why. Now I hope it seems to make a little bit more sense. Okay. By the way, the variable could be anything. It could be cake, cake. Actually, I don't think that can be. Cake is not a class. No, since it's a class, you have to be something different. Never mind. So now that it's an actual object, we can start doing things to it, right? So how about asking questions? My cake dot eggs. What type of eggs do we have? Oh, we have chicken eggs. Oh, I was thinking of duck eggs, but I'm, I'm glad I knew that. What kind of water do we have? Clean water. So if you think about it, we can access this data right inside of here. All of these instance variables we have access to now that we have actually created this object itself. So if you think about it already, it's already far more powerful than a function. A function you can return one thing, or you can do one thing, but you can't do all of these things. And that's why classes make it so much easier, and it's all in one nice, neat package. Okay? Kind of like a nice cake. Okay? So, we have that. <clears throat> we can do that. What else can we do? We can actually access the methods inside of the... Um, in, inside of the object. So my cake dot mix, right? What's it going to do? It's going to return the concatenation of eggs and water, chicken eggs, clean water. Okay. So it's, it should print it out because that's the new object from the returned object itself. What about the weight? Okay. Well, what's the weight of your cake? All right. Uh, mm, that didn't work out well. Why not? Well, if you look at it, wait, nothing is being returned here, is it? So if nothing is being returned, the, the value automatically is going to be null, right? So I could have actually put a void right here. And then the, the dart will help you void. Whoop, whoop, what did it say? Void cannot be assigned to the parameter type object. So if nothing is being returned, from my cake itself, I keep pushing a lot of buttons, then then you can't actually access any data right inside of here. So wait a minute, how do I access this? Why is this weight not accessible, but eggs and water was? Remember lexical scoping, okay? Keep that in mind. If you forgot lexical scoping, you might want to review the video I did on that. But in the brackets, cannot be seen outside the brackets here. Okay, so wait, it gets deleted as soon as you get out of the out of the um, brackets. So how do I change that? Got to put it up here, right? Remember lexical scoping because you might not understand this otherwise. There we go. So we will just reassign weight inside of here itself. Now it's giving me an error. It's already a getter with the same name. Okay. Oh, weight of cake of cake. Okay, so weight of cake right inside here. By the way, this should be string and down here bake is going to be, that's going to be a void, right? Okay. 
So weight of cake. So if I put that instead weight of cake, that should get my value, right? It's still null. Why? Okay. If you look at it, int weight of cake, what's the value? Null. We never actually called this function right up here, right? So if we didn't call it, it's not going to automatically call it by itself. We have to actually call it. In Dart, things just don't happen by themselves. And that's actually a good thing. It doesn't happen unless you actually make it happen. So weight of cake. No, I'm, I'm sorry. My cake dot weight. You have to call the function in order to change the value of weight of cake. Then you can actually print it. See? So I hope that was clear. Let's give it a little space to make it a little more clear. Okay, so the weight of clay, cake itself had the new value, no longer, a vo um, uh, no longer a null value itself because you actually called it and activated the function. Finally, we can do bake. But you don't want to print that, right? because printing is already inherently done inside of there. So what I would say is instead is my cake dot bake. You baked a cake. OK, so that's how flexible classes can actually be. We have members, which include the data. Um, and those are instance variables. We have the functions with which are methods. Those are the other members of the class, of just classes in general. And we're going to go over more of this. And if a lot of questions come to mind, hang on to them, please, because I will cover them most likely in future talks and future videos. But just keep that in mind that I want to go through the basics right now, and we'll go through the more the details and even the theory on this in the near future. Okay, so hang in there. Thank you very much.